Hello again fellow zombies. I decided I'm going to do one more video in this play session. I think we've got our plus 15 weapon now. I think I'm going to get the catacombs done. I just want to get through those catacombs as fast as I possibly can. Because it's not a good area, really. I'm going to get through them catacombs and then fight Pinwheel, get the right to kindling. I am busy. Have we got anything to feed to this guy? We haven't got any gold coins or anything, have we? No, no, nothing. Okay. Farewell, chosen not. Right, I got a plus fifteen weapon now. This should be easy. There we go. These are all just very uh, early game items here. I'm getting. Right. Uh, this might be a short video, depending on how quick I get down to the catacombs. I'm just going to do the catacombs and pinwheel in this video. I don't really have that long left to play today. But, um... There we go. I mean, you can see this is an early game area by how little damage that really did to me. Well, careful there. I did not know they could do that. I honestly did not know skeletons could power you. I genuinely had no idea about that. Right. Right, currently I'm just going to try and get to the first bonfire. Because you can't actually permanently kill any of these skeletons until you take out this necromancer here. Thought I'd be one shot him. There we go. The necromancers, uh, for some reason, are down as mini bosses, so they actually uh, they don't respawn. I don't think. At least that one there doesn't. Anyway, I don't know about the others. go. No, they don't respawn, do they? The necromancers. Because uh, there's only a finite amount of them, means that as long as you kill every single necromancer here, you are always guaranteed to get um, the Skull Lantern, which is an item you absolutely need. It's compulsory if you want to get through... Crap. If you want to get through Tomb of the Giants. Okay. Skeletons, can you not be running a million miles an hour, please? You can tell these skeletons must use some of the same AI as the ones in um, Shrine of Storms in Demon Souls. Because they have like the same kind of animation and, and running and they actually look very, very similar to the one in, in Shrine of Storms. And now once you kill the necromancer, that means that these skeletons will not respawn once they're dead. There you go. I got the skull lantern straight away. See, if you don't kill the necromancer instantly, when you kill the skeletons, they will just get back up. I hated the skeletons in Shrine of Storms, and I hate these skeletons here. I just don't find their attacks just very good. They're, they're, kind of, they're just annoying, their attacks. I mean, it's mainly that running forward attack they do. That running forward attack, just this here, that, that really annoys me. Okay, sometimes I can't even explain it. It just frustrates me. I don't know why, to be honest. Okay. Can I knock this down? No. Okay. Did 
Don't fall down. Don't thank God for that. Okay. So these skeletons are not giving me souls when I kill them. Which means that, as you can see, it means there's a necromancer controlling them who's constantly reviving them. I thought we were going to get a cutscene from there. See, they're just going to get back up. Okay. So now that I pulled that lever, it twisted around this bridge. So now I can get across the bridge, and the necromancer is on the other side of the bridge. Probably going to do that stupid spinning forward attack. Yeah, I knew it. How, how am I getting fired? Ah, from this guy. Fired. I mean burned. Now I can actually permanently kill them. guys constantly keep respawning um, until you kill the necromancer that's at the bottom. So I personally find the best thing to do is just to try and get around them. Get around them, get to the bottom, and then the pyromancer's at the bottom, I think, if I'm brightly. I hope I'm right. Anyway. Oh no! How did that happen? There we go. We can go down there, but we're not going to go down there. So now we can kill these guys. Okay. Oh, cool. Great scythe. That's also meant to be a very good dexterity weapon, actually. Now back here. Right. Where is that bridge that I... Ow. I just turned around. Ah, okay. Here's so we can turn the other bridge around as well. There we go. And illusory wall. To another bonfire. Would you look at that? That always happens. Okay. More long stairs. Treasure.
Hello. Dark Moon Sounds Ring. Ah, oh, you know, I, I forgot where we got that from. But now I know. But at what cost? At what cost? No, we're okay. We can get out of it. We're good. We're good. Alright, quick. Okay, how, how do I get out? Why is there a ladder up here? There's nothing up here. Oh, I know, I know. Oh, you idiot. Come on now. We're good, we're good, we're good. Get up, 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 get up. Ow. This is ridiculous. Is there any other way to get out of here? Ah, oh, okay, thank God for that. I was about to say, if that jump was the only way to get out of there, I was gonna cry. Oh, I actually went past the necromancer. How is he firing me on the stairs? Oh, the ladder. Sorry. Okay. Oh, do you help? Miracle. Tranquil walk of peace. It'd be great if the necromancer came the ladder as well. Of course not. That'd be too much twice, wouldn't it? Seriously, I died from the fall. God. Okay. Right now, I'm not sure if I've got the achievement for joining the Gravelord Covenant yet, so I'm actually going to do that. I don't understand how that hit at all. There we go. We get the Eye of Death. I've actually already got an Eye of Death, so to be fair, I probably didn't need to do that. Okay, now we sit in this coffin for a bit. It's just a Diet Coke today. I did have the Monster Energy Ultra back earlier, but I've drank it now, so. On to Diet Coke.
So now we're in Tomb of the Giants. Um, <clears throat> here, we can join the Grave Lord Covenant. Because here's Grave Lord Nito, and you can sort of worship him. Should I do it? Yeah. Oh, I must have already uh, done it before. I didn't get the achievement for it, so. There isn't a bonfire here, is there? For some reason, I thought there was a bonfire here. Oh well. There we go. It's a very strange way of getting down there, but... You get the Gravelord Sword as well, which is a very, very good sword. It's just... I wonder if the scaling changes at all. It's a very, very strong sword, but it's it's really good for... Um, early... For getting a really powerful weapon early. I must have missed the turn. Here we go. There we go. Hello, my friend. It's been a while since I've seen a Black Knight. No! <laughs> oh, he didn't actually kill me. That killed me, though. Soul of a Proud Knight. I actually have a bit missed Vamos the blacksmith. Oh, will you just fuck off, please? That helped out a lot. Right, come on. I want to be at full health constantly here. He just fell through the map. I'm going to see any items I may have missed. I don't think there's actually a way to get to Van Master Blacksmith from here. No, you have to go the other way that we saw earlier. 
There's a different drop to get there. Okay, there we go. I've got to push on a bit now because I don't really have much long left to play. And I'd like to try and get to the Tomb of the Giants first bonfire, to be honest. Just top health. This boss looks really cool. You'll see now. Yeah. As you can see. It doesn't really have much health. <laughs> That's why there's a big... Um, people don't really know, like, was... Was this boss meant to be an earlier in the game boss? But if it was an earlier game in the boss, how come it was so easy? That's the question. Sorry, I mean, if it's an early game boss, how come the area is so hard? Because the boss is really easy, which would make you think that, yeah, okay, it's obviously an early game boss, but then how come... Then how come the area is very hard? I'd like to try and make it to the first bonfire. I don't think that's the right way to go. Areas was very, very confusing. And that has to be the way to go. Patches. Okay. Patches is here. That means the bonfire's around here. Is it down here? It's down here, isn't it? Okay. Nice. Okay. Time to level up a bit. Tomb of 
to be fair, I don't think I should be. I think I should probably maybe be upgrading my shield a bit. Try and get up that stability a bit. Let's reinforce my shield. Which one am I using? Crest shield I'm using. I need Twinkle and Titanite for this. Okay. Yeah, that'll probably be fine. And then let's see what else I can upgrade my armor. I need large Titanite shots out there. Mm. Don't get yourself killed. Then I think I will go to Firelink Shrine and put the humanity that I've got, the liquid humanity, put that into um, kindling the bonfire all the way. There we go. Again, and now we can do it all the way to maximum. There we go. And good, we can teleport there. That's good. That's all that matters really now. Nice. And now I should still have enough souls to level up as well. So that all worked out. Okay. There we go. And I think that will probably be everything for today. Uh, if you've enjoyed this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Maybe share this video with anyone who might enjoy it or feel it was good enough. Thank you again for watching. This is Zombie Reborn, signing out. Have a good one.